Hey guys, Sam Rhino here with another video. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at different birds eating different things. If you're a little sensitive to graphic things in nature, just be aware that it could be graphic sometimes. You know, unfortunately, nature can be cruel sometimes, but it is what it is. And as a wildlife photographer, you just have to document it as you see it. I don't interfere in any way, but just wanted to make you aware of it. I'd also want to let you know that I got the A7 IV. You're actually watching me right now on the A7 IV paired with the uh, the new Tamron lens, the 28 to 75, the G2 lens. Excellent lens, by the way. Uh, so stay tuned for an upcoming video with my feedback on, on the A7 IV and a review on it for wildlife. Uh, you know, I like to take my time with these things. I feel like it takes a while to really get to know a camera. You know, I probably lose some views by not rushing out and putting my feedback or review on it like some people do. But I'd rather lose views and give you accurate information uh, you know, as I really get to know the camera. <clears throat> also, be on the lookout in this video of this cormorant that's got a gigantic fish. Stay tuned to see if he could actually swallow this whole fish. <laughs> the fish is almost as big as he is. It's pretty incredible, honestly. So stay tuned to see if he could swallow it. And I'm not going to talk too much because it's freezing cold out here and I'm freezing my ass off, so I need to keep walking. Uh, but anyway, I'm not going to say it. Nope, I'm not going to say let's go. Nope. Not gonna say it. Not doing it. Nope. All right, let's go. I can't help it. I guess let's go. <laughs>
So I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to comment on a couple things. The first one is uh, feeding frenzies with gulls that you saw in a couple of scenes in the video. I find these to be really entertaining. I've encountered quite a few of them. And that's when you get like 50 gulls in one area uh, feeding on a school of fish or crab or whatever it is they're feeding on. And they go into a complete frenzy, almost like they lose their mind and have total disregard for anything around them. I even watched one one time chase a gull that had a fish. Uh, and they were chasing each other at full speed. And the first one turned at the last second. And the one chasing them smacked right into this fence and fell into the water and never came back up. So it shows you the level of disregard for anything around them other than food. It's pretty incredible to watch, and I find it to be entertaining. Uh, the second thing is uh, the kestrel that you saw in the video with a, with a snake. It was only a few seconds of video. Uh, unfortunately, these two joggers that were having a really loud conversation uh, ran right under the telephone pole that he was eating the snake on and scared them away. Uh, but it was pretty cool to see a kestrel with a, that size snake. Uh, it was pretty cool to see. I wish I could have got more of it. So the next thing I want to talk about is Merlins when they're feeding. Uh, they really don't care who's around when they're eating. Uh, so it gives you a nice opportunity to get some shots without having to worry about spooking them or treading carefully around them. Uh, they really don't care. You know, you still want to give them some respect and not stress them out. But... Uh, just like peregrine falcons, I find them not to really care if there's somebody around uh, when they're feeding. So anyway, uh, so let's wrap this up. I just want to say, uh, look forward to the A7 IV video coming soon. I'm testing it with quite a few lenses. I picked up the new Tamron. Well, it's fairly new, uh, 150 to 500, the G2. Uh, you know, I wanted a small lens that I could fit in my shoulder bag with the a7 IV while I carry the A1 with the 600 f4. Uh, and it definitely fits right into my bag. It's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm testing the a7 IV with quite a few lenses, the Sony 200 to 600, the 600 f4, and the Tamron 150 to uh, 500. So anyway, uh, until next time, guys, happy shooting and see you later.